Hi everyone, Affinity Photo. What a great alternative to Photoshop it is. Over the next few months, I'm putting together a series of guides on my YouTube channel for you. I've got loads planned, so do subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications when fresh uploads go online. Once you've seen one of the videos, if you want to skip this intro, then just check the timestamp down below in the description and you can go straight to the tutorial. One issue with Affinity Photo is that it doesn't come with a good browser for the moment, so hopefully they will change that soon. But what I've got here over a quick five minutes are some free browser options for you so you can get on with Affinity Photo and still keep using free browsers. First of all, we're gonna look at Adobe Bridge. If you download Photoshop on a free trial, uh, Bridge can be downloaded too. And when the free trial is over, just um, uninstall Photoshop and keep Bridge and it runs free as an image browser. This is what Bridge looks like. I've shown the same folder in all of these browsers just to make things simple. And you can browse your folders here on the left hand side. All the images come up in thumbnails here, but you have other options with all of these browsers for film strips, etc. So, but what we want to do is look at browsing, maybe starring and coloring them and adding some keywords as well. As you can see, some of these here I've actually colored and starred, so you know, this is all about sorting out. You can star them, color them, check the metadata down here on the right hand side, and you can also add in keywords as well. So a really, really good browser and it's free. And this is the one I use most of the time for myself anyway. The next one to look at is Capture One Express. That comes free with Fujifilm and Sony cameras. So why not make use of it as a good browser? It is also very good at developing your raw files as well, but as a browser, it works fine. Again, you have options for starring as well as color coding. You have metadata available here as well as options for keywords as well down in the bottom right hand corner here. So again, another simple browser that will allow you to sort out your images and then open up in Affinity Photo. The next browser here is Olympus Workspace, a really lovely browser actually, but again, looks very similar. We have all of our folders down here so you can access your images. We have options for starring and color coding as well as variations of A and B. And you also have your EXIF details and text available in the properties areas as well. Next is Nikon's View NXI. Very similar again to the other browsers. We have options here for color labeling, ratings and keywords and all the metadata is also here. Another great browser. And finally we have Canon's Digital Photo Professional which to me is the least of my favorites here and I've, I shot Canon for many years. They used to have something called a browser, I think Browser EX, which is still available, but certainly not for Catalina on the Mac. So do look out for that and I think that is a better browser. But it will allow you to browse your photos here and you can rate them by stars and one to five as well. So you do have an option here for selecting and rating what you need to do here. I hope that's really useful. There's plenty of options of browsers out there, more so than this, but these are the main key ones and they come free most of these with your cameras. So don't forget that. And it will certainly help you with selecting all your images that you need to use within Affinity Photo.